Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again for yet another episode of Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. And yes, the world of beer is truly wonderful. Radio, so uh, again we're looking at a uh, Brazilian beer from uh, Ambev. Uh, it's Brahma, which is 4.8% uh, alcohol by volume. So another one from the uh, Ambev uh, stable. Hmm. And probably the third Brazilian beer that uh, I've uh, had the pleasure of reviewing uh, on this channel. And uh, yes, another one that uh, I procured from uh, Brazilian style imports uh, here in Australia. Yeah, they do, you know, food, beverages and uh, barbecue equipment. Yeah, so um, yeah, they offer a lot um, in terms of uh, Brazilian uh, produce. So uh, definitely, uh, yeah, a good place to shop for uh, any uh, Brazilian expats uh, here in Australia. Yeah, but most importantly, they, they have beer. They have Brazilian beer. <laughs> All right, so uh, without further ado, let's crack open this uh, can of Brahma. A 350 ml can. Yeah, that's been uh, deep chilling in the Swillingrog beer fridge for a wee while now. Yeah. What do you So, yeah, a little bit different to the Antarctica original. Um, yeah, a more of a straw kind of uh, golden appearance. Yeah, very sort of straw coloured. Uh, yeah, much like uh, Budweiser actually, and uh, quite uh, effervescent too. And uh, three fingers there of a bright white frothy looking head. Alright, uh, a slight smell of uh, barley malt. Hmm, not really picking up uh, anything else. Hmm. Alright, so on that note, we've uh, talked about the appearance and the aroma, so uh, that could only mean it's time for the taste test, the most important part of the uh, review. So let's see what uh, Brahma is like. All right, up front, definitely getting a um, hit of um, yeah, sweet malt there, a subtle sort of sweetness. This one tastes more like most South American beers that um, I've tried, um, you know, in the last uh, ten years. It's got that yeah, that distinctive papery sort of taste to it. Is um, yeah, the best way I can I can put it. Maybe it's got um, you know uses adjuncts like corn and rice and all that, but it it's this sort of taste that's sort of like corn husk, but it almost comes across just yeah this papery sort of uh, taste to it. Um, yeah, on the palate, quite interesting. Not that I you know I mind that uh, in any way, but. Um, yeah, just something that uh, I've noticed over the years. Let's just uh, top this up. Yeah, it's very, um, well, very, it's drinkable, yes. But what I was going to say is very different to the uh, Antarctica uh, original. Yeah, a very different beer. Mm. Definitely goes down smooth. Yeah, and uh, at 4.8% ABV, it's certainly one that you could uh, session. Um, the body, yes, yeah, definitely, yeah, somewhere between light and medium, leaning towards light. Yeah, it's got a distinctively thin sort of um, mouthfeel to it. Yeah, not watery in any way, but, but very thin bodied. Mm. definitely uh, holding that taste profile. Yeah, it's another one of those beers that would be, you know, I mean if it were um, widely available, um, 
I think it, uh, yeah, would um, go down well, uh, you know, uh, at your typical Aussie barbecue. Yeah, you could drink it all afternoon, yeah, and uh, become quite pleasantly toasted, <laughs> as I like to say. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely not as impressed uh, with this one as I was with the uh, Antarctica original, but it's, you know, it's not terrible. Uh, in any way. Um, still quite a decent brew uh, and the price point, yeah, around about three dollars for a uh, single which uh, isn't too bad, uh, you know, by Australian standards. Mm. I mean, you nearly pay that, uh, you know, for a, a soft drink here uh, these days. Mm. Rightio, well, uh, I think I'll have one last goal and give Brahma a score out of 10. Hmm. Okay, well, all in all, it's not too bad. Um, you know, it doesn't blow my mind. Um, but still, a decent beer. Uh, yeah, I probably... Uh, recommend that you, you know, you check it out. So, uh, what would I give it in terms of a score out of 10? What is it deserving of? Hmm, probably a, a 7.5 I would dare say. Yeah, so there you go folks, a 7.5 out of 10 for Brahma. And uh, you probably notice that it has the word chop um, underneath it. Uh, I believe that means draft. I could be mistaken, but uh, yeah, you tell me if I'm wrong. I didn't have a chance to research that. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy the rest of this, and uh, I'll see you all in the next review. But uh, until then, fare thee well, all.